when do you get your fish? Where do you get the fish? What species are they? And what are the name of the fishers? I saw you across the room Got you in my head now You're all I want all the time And the days don't end Cause I'm losing sleep, yeah you stole it I can't keep on checking my phone No, I'm out with my friends But I think of you instead Is it alright if I got to know you better? Is it alright? Hey guys, it's Megan here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys a little bit about I don't know but it's more of like a fish vlog and they're kind of they're still getting used to me or like basically the environment here. Every time I move them to a new environment, they tend to swim around frantically. I guess that's something normal someone will do. But anyways, before we get on to this video, I'm going to be doing a little Q&A. So about what is all this thing about and why do you want to get fishers or something like that. The first question is, when do you get your fish? I think I got it. Okay, that day when I vlog, I was vlogging my morning routine, so it should be up already. I'll link it down below for you guys. But anyways, I got my fish on that day. So I got them on 17 June. I'm not used to the environment, honestly speaking, but we'll... And hopefully they'll grow up and then, then kind of you know so i got them on 17 june 2021 and how many fishes do you buy i actually bought two so funny story i actually got one for myself one for my dad so actually i wanted to buy one but because my dad said they wanted um he wanted to see them fight because they were like fighting fishes so i told him i told my dad i did a one so we actually got a tank that could separate the both of them where do you get the fishes okay so basically i actually wanted to be more responsible towards something so side story here i used to have about 40 fishes but they're all like really small so i kind of killed them because i didn't feed them so i kind of wanted to be independent in growing up and learning to take care of animals. I just wanted to get a normal fish but because you know normal fish need pump like oxygen pump so we decided to get this because this doesn't necessarily have to have a pump. And what species are they? They're actually okay, the whole general thing like the the name people call it is called the fighting fish but actually I researched a lot and realized that they're actually called the beta fish so beta fish is similar to this one I'm not sure about the whole exact species but this is something like it so um I think there's another one called delta so they're kind of similar to one another but I think this is called the beta fish how often do you feed them I feed them every day but every day there's like different amount this is the fish food it's a very very small bottle so on the day when i bought it i fed them one because they're like really tiny they're like super duper small so i feed them one of this on the first day and then the next day i feed two and it's just alternate I can't feed them too much or they'll get very, um, they call it bloated or something. They will get overfed. Um, how much money was the fishes? So each fish was about $3. And then the tank was about $5. So, and the fish food, I'm not very sure about the food, but if you consider two fishes, it'll be $6. And then if you're going to add the tank, it'll be about $11. So it was a pretty cheap fish to be exact because I know that this kind of fish are very expensive unless you get those very very beautiful ones and they tend to be more expensive so we just wanted to have a cheap fish and see how it goes and actually my dad wanted to wants to pre-order a uh, expensive fish for us so I'm not sure what it's going to go and what are the name of the fishes so the one on the left this one is actually mine and then the one on the right is my dad's so the mine is actually called Finn uh, it's actually spelled as F-I-N-N so let me show you guys I wanted to ask Instagram what kind of name I should pick 
but I didn't want to because this is my fish and I wanted to name it myself. So the fishes, the, the fish name that I wanted to get, I uh, wanted to kind of name it was either Mila, Finley, Fishy or Finn. So because I guess this is a male one, I guess, I think it's a male one. So Mila was the name, I don't want to name it Mila because my mom wants to get, if I, if she does have another daughter, like whether it's my sister or something, she'll most likely name it Mila. So I thought it would be quite nice to name it Mila, but it's a male, so I decided to call it Finn instead of Finley or Fishy. So Fishy is kind of unoriginal, so Finn will do, although it's not very original, but it just sounds nice and my dad one is Lun. So it's actually spelled as L-A-N Lun. So kind of funny because my dad, I told him that my fish was called, called Finn and my dad was just like, because we went to Finland before. So he was just like, oh maybe you should call it Lun because it's Finn Lun and yeah, that's how he named his fish. So that's all for the questions. I don't want to answer all of them because I just wanted to keep this video a little shorter. I'm reading at 7 minutes by the time you guys see this video. I'm still adding more things to this list of things that I want to customize the fish tank. So actually, I just ordered like some cave for the fish. And they're really sensitive to noise. So usually when my parents come in, I tell them to lower their volumes because they get really loud, like my parents get really loud and it's probably going to scare them and I want them to be comfortable in the environment so I try to keep down my volume I don't play my show so loud is that the tank, there's actually two layers so because if you see like this thing over there actually there is like a black film like this black acrylic together with this clear one so it's more of like yeah, and yesterday I let them go. I'm telling you, Lun was so chaotic because when I took it out, he kind of freaked a little, I guess. So he kind of just keeps swimming around the tank like frantically. So because yesterday I really tried, so I don't know whether today will work, but I will show you guys it. So I think you guys might be able to see them getting a little freaked out because they get really scared when I touch the tank or like whatsoever. So I fed them this morning and I will also insert the clips here where I actually customised the fish tanks by actually added the, adding these rocks inside. <laughs> This is how they're looking like. You can see that Lun is pretty scared. Like, I don't know, but maybe it's just natural. So I'm just gonna lift it out. You're gonna see the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Lun is pretty freaked out. Yeah, maybe it's just a natural reaction. So I'm just gonna lift it up. You will see their reaction. Oh my god, I'm being so gentle. Sorry, Lun. Sorry, Finn. Just... Ah, I'm sorry. Ah! Oh my god. Oh wait, so... You can see there's two layers. In here. And I'm just gonna lift the black one up. And you'll see them. Yeah, okay, so Lun does this all the time when I take out the black film. I, I don't know, maybe it's just natural. I don't think he's like sick or something. Yeah, yeah, this is what he did yesterday. I don't know. I feel like he's kind of sick. Because he's been eating the dirt in the, in the water. I don't know, I'm so worried for them. So let's say I'm going to take out the clear thing. I don't really take them out, yeah. I don't Ah, uh, no, no, no. Oh my god. I just got chills. Sorry, Lan. I'm very, very, very sorry. I can't get this in. It's always stuck. Oh 
There's something wrong with this tank. Oh wait, so you saw Lun's reaction. That is what I mean by he gets freaked out. And I almost squished his head. And I'm feeling really bad right now. Yeah. Actually, Finn is pretty good. He's a really good boy. Are you Finn? Like, sometimes they follow the finger. That's how they train them. Come on. Come on, baby. I don't tap very loudly because it scares them. So you can see them. This is the very clear inside of how they basically look like. This is Lun. And this is Finn. Yeah. These two little boys. And the rocks are here. So this is the rocks I picked for Finn. And my dad picked all these rocks for Lun. Oh no, he's gonna get really scared. Yeah, but Lun's actually really pretty. I like the, the fins. Okay, now it's time to close them up and I'm gonna get scared again. I am very sure of it. Okay. Okay, it wasn't too bad, but yeah, this is how they are. So usually when I want to feed them, I just take out this like film up here. So yeah, basically this is Finn and Lon, and um, I just wanted to say that if they, if you guys have any fishes or something, can you comment some things to let the fish not so scared? I don't know, I just feel really bad because sometimes they get very like frantic and it kind of scares me. So they're like alright right now, so... Not too bad, I guess. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming here watching the video with me. Hopefully, they'll be okay. <sighs> you know, when you get like a pet or you just get like kids or something, it's very, very worrying. But anyways, hopefully, they will adjust to this really well. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy. This is just a little vlog or a little video that I want to keep it as memory sick. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you guys back soon with another new video. And I hope you guys will also say hi to Finn and Learn. And yeah, see you guys. Bye!